Cunningham. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, I wanted to contribute to this um, private member's motion about the uh, significant link that it, uh, exists between infrastructure and small business, because it's an issue that's been very much at the forefront of many of my constituents uh, over the last 12 to 18 months. Uh, the reason for that is that um, what their concerns regard is the infrastructure of the future, that is the actual rollout of fast and reliable broadband that enables small and medium businesses, and in particular home-based businesses, to be able to flourish. Uh, as a result of um, the change of government, of course, and the rollout of the National Broadband Network um, was delayed. There was a, a period of about 12 months while very little happened as the new government determined what sort of technology it was going to use. And uh, so for those suburbs in my area that were anticipating uh, getting more reliable broadband, there's been an increasing understandable frustration. And that's led to a number of very significant grassroots campaigns. I want to first of all refer to um, a Facebook campaign that was started by uh, Karen and Mark McKenzie in the northern suburbs of my electorate. It's a Facebook 2508 plus disconnected. A tremendous campaign where uh, they experienced four years of delay and, and frustration uh, dealing with Telstra trying to get broadband to their new home. They'd relocated from Sydney. And uh, in particular, the, the frustration about being able to access broadband when they were told that it was available at their home. And so they went on to Facebook uh, just to see and take a, a feel for the size of the problem. They've been absolutely inundated with people across those suburbs experiencing significant frustration. Uh, key among the issues, and I'll quote directly from Mark's uh, comments to me, key among the issues being experienced by this community are poor levels of internet service and internet reliability that are currently constraining the productivity of the many home-based businesses operating in the area. In a recent survey completed by the campaign organisers, more than 50 per cent of respondents indicated they were operating a home business. That's right, 50 per cent of those who responded were operating a home business that was being negatively impacted by poor internet service. The survey also revealed that more than 66 per cent of respondents rated service reliability poor to very poor, while a whopping 88 per cent rated internet speeds as poor to very poor, with average download speeds regularly below one megabits per second. And this, is, of course, is a range of suburbs uh, in the north of my seat where people are located very um, well close to Sydney. So a lot of people, professionals, uh, home-based businesses, consultants, relocate there. It's a very beautiful part of the world, lovely place to live, and uh, discover the absolutely appalling standard telecommunications infrastructure that they're faced with. This um, campaign is not alone. For quite a while now, I've been working with the Bundina and Main Bar Business Chamber, and uh, their uh, frustrations with both also mobile and broadband services. And Scott Davey, who's the president, has um, put an extensive and very detailed report together on the impacts in their suburbs of uh, the very poor quality telecommunications infrastructure. In February of 2015, uh, they had a community survey run by the Bundina Main Bar <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. They had a total of 197 responses uh, to that, about a 20 per cent response rate. They are fairly small communities, so it's actually quite a large percentage. And they found that service interruptions for landline phones and internet were widespread, frequent and prolonged. Most interconne internet connections were via ADSL were very slow, and if they worked at all, and the average speed was around 3.25 megabits per second. Almost a third of those respondents in that survey indicated that they rely on their landline telephone to run their own business. So in recent years, what we've seen is that there is a huge shift in the small businesses in many of our electorates, I'm sure, to home-based businesses, whether that's a direct business or a consultancy service. And these people are increasingly frustrated by the telecommunications infrastructure that services them. We have got at Colcliffe a new mobile um, base station being established, and I've written to the minister seeking more detail on what that will actually provide in its time frame. I acknowledge the minister is meeting with my constituents this week, and I am particularly asking him 
uh, to give a very serious consideration Many to their extensive members, concerns. Time is expired.